I'm Donald Vogt, the local chairman. Uh, we're holding this symposium in part, I suppose, to brag about crystallography. Uh, more Nobel Prizes have been awarded in crystallography than any other scientific discipline. And this, no doubt, reflects the centrality of crystallography in nearly all fields of scientific endeavor, such as biology, chemistry, geology, material sciences, and physics. Uh, now, I'd like to apologize to our overflow audience uh, there in the Moore College uh, watching television. Uh, this meeting has become about twice the size that we had originally anticipated, so I hope you'll bear with us, those of you in the Moore College. Before we begin, I should also mention that this symposium was organized by Bill Duax, who, as you'll see, has done a superb job, and we certainly owe him a vote of thanks. So, thank you. Now, I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce Oliver Franklin, the Chief of Protocol to the City of Philadelphia, who'd like to say a few words to us. Thank you very much. When I saw the title um, from the mayor's office to come to welcome the crystallographers, I thought I was going to an astrology association <laughs> meeting and that there'd be all Republicans there. <laughs> but on behalf of the city of Philadelphia and the mayor, W. Wilson Good, uh, it's really my pleasure uh, to welcome you to our great Academy of Natural Sciences and to the city of Philadelphia. Uh, by rights, um, I shouldn't be here because I'm not a scientist, although I understand being a politician the underlying structure of everything. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I decided I, that I had to come because you were one of your honorees is, uh, of course, Dr. Dorothy Hodgkin. And I uh, spent three years at Balliol College, Oxford, uh, with her husband, uh, Thomas, the great Thomas Hodgkin, uh, being grilled on, on different aspects of politics, philosophy, and economics. And when I saw her, I, I sort of said to everyone around the table, well, I know her, I have to come. So therefore, knowing about the underlying structure, they said, you go. So <laughs> it's a real pleasure to see her again in Philadelphia now that I'm all grown up. And uh, it's also a great pleasure to welcome you. Uh, we're very proud of the historical role uh, that Philadelphia has played in scientific research and discovery. Uh, the first photograph, as you know, was made in the city of Philadelphia. In fact, it's on display uh, right now at the Historical Society because the technology had advanced enough to actually get a portrait. You could sit for 10 seconds very quietly, um, which is about the time of a good commercial now, and you could actually get a portrait. I'm also very pleased um, that you have more people um, than you anticipated at this conference because you no doubt uh, being connoisseurs of good wine and gourmet magazine uh, realized that Philadelphia was voted the most exciting city in the country for new restaurants and being good crystallographers I'm sure you realize that coming here you would have a good time so please work hard enjoy yourselves uh, don't spend too much time uh, being very very serious but do come out and visit some of our restaurants and see our people. It's a real pleasure to have the Nobel laureates here. It's a real pleasure to have you. Thank you for coming. 